Hello all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another video of VMA Virtualization and in this video, in this session, I am going to define you how you can access ESXi host to our vCenter server. Guys, if we talk about previous session, so in previous session, I described each and everything related to the installation procedure, about the prerequisite and uh, step to uh, install the vCenter server. So now I am just going to define you about the uh, inventory and features which is available in vCenter server. So as we know that if we talk about the base of vCenter server, so as we know that vCenter server which is responsible to manage multiple ESXi on single inventory. So I'll give me one minute, I'm just going to connect, the, I'm just going to define each and everything related to the uh, vCenter server means how you can manage your vCenter server in real environment. So agenda is vCenter server management, okay. So as we know that uh, we have already installed vCenter server. The vCenter server IP address is 192.168.1.225, correct? And we have a two different ESXi host as well. ESXi host 1, ESXi host 2. The ESXi host one IP address is 192.168.1.12 and another ESXi contain 192.168.1.10, right? We have already established one domain controller on server 2016. This is our domain system because you know that if you want to install a vCenter server, you must need to involve domain services for the installation of vCenter server, correct? So guys, this is the prerequisite or you can say that this is the setup that required to manage the vCenter activity. Domain, the domain name I think we created with name of uh, bm.local, yes. Right? And this is uh, working over a server 2016. Our agenda to access vCenter server and try to add our ESXi host which is uh, available in different machine. So let's try to understand about how we can achieve it. So I have already logged in my vCenter server. As you know that this is the IP address. You just need to open any browser and type the IP address of your vCenter server and provide the credential. Let me show you again. No problem. Type the IP address 192.168.1.225. This is the IP address of vCenter server. Now we just need to click here the first option. And actually, I have already logged in. That's why it's not ask, ask for uh, password. So I'm just going to define you about this is the entire uh, services which is available in our vCenter server. And our responsibility, if you want to be an expert in vSphere 7.0, so you should know about each and every option which is located here. I'm going to define you from very basic, like uh, uh, this is the inventory panel. You can say that the uh, GUI panel is considered as an inventory. And our responsibility to add ESXi, configuring HA, DRS, clone, template, each and everything we are responsible to manage. See, inventories, monitoring and administration, which is categorized in three different, different part. In inventory part, we are able to find host and cluster, template and clones, uh, VMs and template, storage, networking, content library, global inventory and workload management and cloud provider migration means you know that uh, our six uh, 7.5 7.0 is fully compatible with our cloud services means if you want to use if you want to synchronize the on-premises uh, vCenter environment with AWS portal Azure portal so this option can help you we will discuss it because it's a separate uh, content and separate certification now we are just need to understand about the options which is available in vCenter server this is inventory another part is related to the monitor where we can find n number of options take console task console event console where vm uh, consumption specialization specification vm storage policy host profile and lifecycle manager that can help us to upgrade our esxi and also help to uh, manage the patching this is the licensing panel. If you have a license, if you want to uh, renew the license, if you want to apply the li license, so this option can help you. So now this is first class related to the vCenter server. So our agenda to uh, add our ESXi host to vCenter server. 
I'm just going to define you. This is ESXi1. The IP address of ESXi1 is 192.168.1.12 and it also contains the vCenter server. Another ESXi that I created, uh, I think this one is the another ESXi which is running on VMA workstation 192.168.1.10. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add both ESXi to same vCenter server. Just need to click cluster and over a cluster we are able to find uh, one option is basically considered as a data storage. Correct? Data store or data centers you can say that. VCSA.VM.Local this is the name of our vCenter server. You just need to right click here and we are able to find multiple options. New data center, another new folder, export system logs, licensing and number of options are available. So I'm just going to click on new data center because we are planning to add our existing ESXi host. So you can type any name. So I'm going to create a one data center with name of training. Click OK. And if we talk about the use of data center, so data center is responsible to contain cluster, responsible to contain the uh, ESXi host and virtual machines as well. So I'm just going to right click here to add a ESXi host or you can create, you want to create a cluster. So right, right click on data center and give you, uh, it give you the option to manage the host, manage the cluster, distribution switch. So we are responsible to manage each and everything. So I'll give you the complete information related to the vCenter services. First of all, need to click on add and type the IP address of your ESXi host. So one ESXi IP address is 1.12. Just click next. Provide the username and password. So username and password of our ESXi. I'm going to define the username and password. Yes, connect. We have only one data center. So that's why we just need to add the entire ESXi on the same data center. 80% completed. We need to wait. Fine. Meanwhile, we are also responsible to add a second ESXi. Just need to click add host. Provide the IP address of second ESXi host. Just need to click right type the IP address of ESXi 1.10. Next. Provide username and password. Next. Next and create. Right? Finish. We successfully added both ESXi in same vCenter server and now you are able to manage each and everything. I'm going to show you. The ESXi 1.10 contain three different virtual machines, Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8. And our uh, two, 12, ESXi 12 contain VCSA. This is the vCenter server, right? Because we use the appliance to configure the vCenter services. Now, you can perform n number of tasks. The first important part, you need to add the entire ESXi host to vCenter server inventory. And after that, you can perform n number of tasks like as a clone, HA, DRS and all. We are able to find template and VMs, data store, networking. So I'll try to give you the complete information about the vCenter server. So it's really important because if we talk about any organization, so vCenter server is the backbone of our virtualization because it can give you option to configure HA, DRS, fault tolerance or uh, if you talk about scheduling or uh, distributed switch so each and every options are available in vCenter server. So that's it guys because it's a just introduction video of vCenter server. So in next session I'll guide you how you can manage clone and template. So that's it guys. Thank you so much. Take care and bye bye.